Hey there, good looking at join me for this quick cardio workout. We will be done and dusted in 15 minutes. Listen, I'm gonna start out with low impact versions of the exercises and then spice them up as we go so you can choose where you wanna be as we do the workout. No equipment is required, so let's go get started. Hello there. All right, before we get started, if you have a fitness watch on, you might want to turn that on. We're starting down on the mat for this workout, and as we progress, you'll get warmer and warmer, so it's kind of for warming up as we work out. We have 50 seconds of work on all of the moves and two rounds of seven exercises. So let's get down. We have a resisted dead bug, so this is a safe core exercise for wherever you are in your fitness journey. We want to resist the left hand and right knee, so that right leg's trying to come towards us, and we're resisting with the left hand while we extend the right arm and right leg, and then we'll alternate. So let's get set up. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Back of the neck is long. Press the thighs into both hands, and then pick a side. You're gonna extend the arm, thumb coming to the ground, and the leg, heel coming to the ground. Now, if you're unable to keep that low back neutral, if it's popping up really high, what I'd love for you to do is keep the knee bent. See how I've got that knee bent now? So extending the leg makes this dead bug exercise a lot more challenging. So I just need you to dial it back. Exhale as you lower the limbs down, resisting, pressing into that hand while we extend the same side, arm and leg. As mentioned, 50 seconds of work, 10 second transition, Whew, and we're moving through, working all the muscles in today's cardio workout. Coming onto our knees, you can start right away onto the toes if you're advanced. We have a push up, chest to ground, and then a Superman. So let's get set up and you can follow suit with me. Wrists under shoulders, now lower everything to the mat. Come down with me. Now extend the arms overhead and lift the upper and the lower body off of the mat. Lower, slide the hands back under shoulders and press yourself back up. Do it again. Advanced people, you're gonna be on the toes as you press up and press down. Take a gaze at that top of the mat. Working the big muscles of the upper body now with this. We get some core involvement as well. Oh yeah, nice little spinal extension there as we lift the arms, chest, head, legs off the ground. Can you get the front of the thighs off your mat? Let's do one more. And standing. Situate your feet, shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out, hands are light behind the ears. Let's start with a deep squat, and then stand, hip hinge for a dead lift. All right, so we squat, and then we hinge. How far you go down with that squat, it's totally up to you. Let's keep those elbows pulled back, gazes up, and then pick up the tempo. Remembering that this is more of a cardio workout, so we want to keep that intensity up there. Advanced people, can you get down? Bum past the knees. When you do that deadlift, there's no doubt you've got some softness in the knees, but then everything comes from that hip joint. Last 10 seconds. March it out. Whew. All right, side to side lunge. I'd love for you to keep your toes, knees, hips, and shoulders to me. Now mirror me, take it out to the side, push your bum, other side. Good, now let's go back here and pulse it for two. One, two, press. One, two, then add a jump if you'd like. So always ways you can layer on as well as layer back. Is that a word, layer back? <laughs> tone it up, tone it down. <laughs> Here we're getting lateral hip, a little bit adductor and more hamstring. 10 more seconds.
March it out. Woo! All right. Feet hip width apart. Now let's keep them hip width. Take your left leg and step forward for a lunge. Woo! Tap it. Now left leg step back for a reverse lunge. So we call this a pendulum lunge. Pendling the one leg forward and back. No need to add a hop for intensity because this is working all the big muscles in the lower body, which is gonna make that heart work harder. If you have sensitive knees, you take it as deep as it feels comfortable. Just please keep the knees moving or we'll lose even more knee mobility. Advanced people, see if we can get that back knee to the ground. Last 10 seconds here, come on. And march it, Woo. All right, same drill, other leg. Again, we're keeping those feet hip width apart though, especially when we step forward and back, that's gonna help you with your balance. So if you find that you're kind of all over your place and having a really hard time with your balance, pay attention to where the feet are. Are you stepping past the midline of the body? I want you to almost pretend you're on railroad tracks and that's when you step forward on the track and then back on the track. By all means, you can hold on to something light for support, but just have a light touch or know that it's there, not holding on to it for the full set because I do want to challenge your balance. As we know, that as well as many other things <laughs> disappear as we age. <laughs> And what's the thing you miss the most? Our minds, right? <laughs> and march it out. Woo. All right. We're moving to a low impact jumping jack. And then I'll ramp it up. You can join me if you like or stay with the low. So let's take it out to the side. All right, just like that. Up, up. So it's kind of like a seal jack. Now pick it up or ramp it up. Good, how's the sports bra holding up? Okay. <laughs> Mine could use a little bit more support. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I kind of feel like holding the girls right now, but <laughs> I know that's not appropriate. <laughs> so this is our last move. We're gonna go back to that resisted dead bug, get everything in one more time, and then you are done and dusted. <laughs> Come on, land soft if you're with me in that jack. <laughs> Go wide with those legs, work that lateral hip. Three, two, one, march it out. All right, thumbs up you, let's take her down. Knees over hips, don't have those knees too close. That's the number one mistake I see with dead bugs. Press into one thigh with the hand, extend the other side. Good, low back is neutral. If it's popping off the mat, what are you doing? You wanna keep that knee bent then. All right, your core, just not ready. You stick with me, it will be ready. But listen to the signals your body is telling you and layer up or tone it down as you need to. Keeping that tempo strong. You're gonna feel your hip flexors and your thighs too on this dead bug. Woo. All right, we got a push up. We're from the knees. If you need to modify it, wrists under shoulders, fingers spread, grip the mat with the fingertips, lower, extend, lift everything up, press up. Gaze at the top of the mat. Superman is a safe movement to do if you have osteoporosis, if you're wondering. You'll take it slow and controlled and extend the spine. It's flexion we want to avoid. Past the halfway mark. 20 more seconds, we stand. Last one. 
handstand. Woo. All right, we got those feet. Shoulder width are a bit wider, toes turned out, hands here. Start with the squat. Now hip hinge, work the hammies and glutes. Squat, hip hinge. Keep the eyes up though. If you notice when I do the hip hinge, I'm not letting my head drop forward. I'm still keeping my gaze straight ahead. Good. Woo. I like this move. I'm always looking on ways to, you know, obviously do the big muscle patterns that we need to do, the big lower body movement, squats, lunges. But then how can we also take a little break from the knees, for the knees? So <laughs> I was playing with this move in my office and thought, hey, let's do this. <laughs> so it's just not repeated squats. <laughs> One more. <laughs> All right, we got a side to side lunge. We'll start with that and then I'll add pulses and jumps. You can join me anytime at any level. Three, two, one. Good, step it. Other side. Good, now pulse it if you'd like. It goes one and two. One and two. Hop if you want. I think that's a big difference between a trainer in her 50s and a trainer in her 20s is I'm very aware of weight bearing on the wrists and knee flexion. You'll know a 20 or 30 year old trainer doing a core workout. She'll be on mountain climbers for like 10 minutes. You just can't do that. It's just not good for the wrists as you get older. <laughs> With age comes experience and wisdoms, my friend. Woo, and march it. And next year will be my 30th year as a trainer. Crazy. All right, pendulum lunge, feet or hip width, lunge forward, and back. Oh, this is a burner for that leg that stays on the ground, isn't it? Woo-hoo! Okay, so we just have to remind that leg. It's our last set. <laughs> 20 seconds, come on. March it. All right. We're keeping those feet hip width. We're keeping that form strong. Other leg, final pendulum. Three, two, one, go. Again, take the depth as deep as it feels good for your knees. It might be a little top back and maybe a deeper as you go forward. You know, play around with it. We obviously want to keep the knees moving, but it's got to be pain-free for you. Last couple of reps. March it out. Final move, we got jumping jack. Again, I'm gonna start at low impact. If you wanna go high right out of the gates, go for it. Arms are here, three, two, one, open, tap. Good, come on, let's go. Yes, full impact. Land soft, go wide. Give me that clap, come on. Don't be shy, you're at home. Make some noise with those arms. But only the arms, not the feet. seconds. Mm. 
march it out. Woo! All right, high five you. Grab a quick sip of water. We'll bring the heart rates down just a bit. So if you find you need a longer cool down after I'm done, please keep walking around your house. Or if you're adding another workout, you know, get right into it right away. If you are adding another workout, if it's another cardio workout, I would get rid of the warm up. If it's another strength workout, I would still keep the warm up. The reason being, at least I know from my videos, I can't talk for other trainers, is I will warm up the specific areas that we'll be targeting for the strength, as well as break down more complex strength moves that we may be doing in the workout in the warm up. There you go. <laughs> Maybe it's completely useless information to you. Sorry if it is. <laughs> it's just me in my living room. <laughs> All right, feet apart. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. If you'd like a stretch, I have a number of them on the YouTube channel and oh my goodness, Over 50 Fitness. If you're enjoying this workout ads free on the platform, you can go into our stretching mobility playlist, our yoga playlist, or our playlist on dead in it, um, on time. All right, Whew. please drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and what you thought of the workout. Have a beautiful rest of your day and we will see you next sweat session. Bye. Okay, so full transparency, trainer truth. This is the second time I've recorded this workout. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I have a new camera and I recorded the workout and then I started to record the intro of another workout and thought, you know what, I should test my audio because I didn't for the first workout. So let's test the audio. Tested the audio, no audio. I go upstairs, I download what I just, this workout that I just recorded, no audio. You have no idea how many times technology has played against me. So I took a breath, <laughs> said a few swear words, and then came downstairs. And you know what? I think I nailed it better the second time. So hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye.